Okay, today we're going to talk about designing bundles. The best way to design a bundle is through something called a market basket analysis. You don't need to understand how market basket analysis works, but let's look at how we can use a market basket analysis to identify which products to bundle together. Now, I'm going to run this analysis using Airboxer right now on this spreadsheet. I'm going to go here and hit the run button. Let's look at the sales from the last 30 days to run this market basket analysis. Now I'm going to hit the run hop button. This is going to pull all the sales data from the last 30 days, identify which products were being already purchased together, run the MBA on it, and then provide us with this output. Shorter. Uh, this is all demo data, so I'm going to make a few changes on the first row so that uh, the results seem a bit more legitimate. Okay, let's go over how to look at this information. We're looking at the results in the second row here. What this means is that product A and product B are already being purchased in 10% of all of your orders. This means that your customers are already buying these two products together, so there might be something to it. Now let's look at the next iteration of this. Now this 10% is called the support uh, variable of this uh, combination. Next, we're gonna look at something called confidence. What this means is whenever product A is purchased, product B is also purchased 20% of the times. This again shows that there is an overlap in purchasing behavior and you should consider this as a bundle. Now, let's look at the final, uh, final number. This is called lift. What this means is whenever product A is added to cart, the likelihood of product B also being added to cart goes up by 12 times. So you should definitely bundle these two products together. Uh, finally, you'll get this uh, number that says uh, estimated order value increase. This means that if you do bundle these two products together successfully, you could increase your AOV by 200%. So uh, go ahead and run this on your own data and see which products you should be bundling together.